LEGO Mindstorm's daisy chaining has returned. I'm on BrickMe and today I'm gonna tell you all about this new revolutionary LEGO Mindstorm's app update. So basically this new update allows you to have multi-hub functionality. It's not the same daisy chaining as we knew it back in the days of the EV3, but it is very similar to how you would uh, sort of connect two different NXT units together using Bluetooth. You would use the send message and receive message commands. It works sort of very similar to that except unlike with the NXT where you had to spend like 15 minutes just trying to figure out how to connect them and then they wouldn't connect you know it was a big mess but this just works so you sort of have blocks on the main hub send signal and then the signal name and then as long as the receiving name has that exact signal name it'll just work you don't need to do any prior bluetooth connections you don't need to sort of uh figure out how to connect the two different hubs together you just run them as if they were separate and then somehow it just works i mean it's flawless I think you can connect a theoretically infinite number of hubs. I managed to connect four together and get them all working together. Personally, I cannot wait to integrate this functionality into many of my LEGO Technic sets. For example, the 4100 Excavator uses two hubs that are separate. Now imagine if I could put two Mindstorms hubs instead and give it some ultrasonic sensors, you know, make it fully autonomous. It would dig all automatically. It's going to be super fun. And I think I'm also going to revisit my Betarex robot, the walking humanoid robot maybe create it with four different hubs and just give it a lot more motors and a lot more sensors and way more advanced functionality. I personally cannot wait to make some amazing LEGO Mindstorms robots using four different hubs or maybe even potentially more. I just want to say, if you're enjoying this video so far, then make sure to subscribe so that way you can learn all about LEGO Technic and Mindstorms, like which motors, gears, and more are the rarest. But, no pressure. No pressure. Now another cool thing that we have about this app update is finally some proper documentation. Whenever you're programming something and you need block help, the help section will open up within the coding canvas itself. Unlike the previous versions where you pressed help and then it would take you out of the block coding canvas and you would get just a bunch of text and without even like images to show you which block is which, you know, it was kind of confusing, but now everything is so much more uh, easy to use and easy to understand. I greatly appreciate that. But on top of that, you finally have video tutorials and proper information about the hub, the motor, all the sensors, just have so much more details about all the hardware and how to use it and how to get started. If you've never used a robotics kit before, all of this can be really overwhelming. How do you even turn on a robot, navigate the hub? It all can be quite stressful and this documentation, all of these built-in video tutorials are definitely going to be very helpful. And the LEGO company definitely put in so much effort into this app. This new app update is just amazing. This is your Unbrick Me here and I'll see you in the next one.